All right, it's 19 January 2024. This is Jim here, and we got a CPU mining update. I was just looking at my dashboard, my nice hash dashboard, and it was uh, just showing seven bucks actual profitability. It kind of just dropped a little bit there, about 684. I'm running seven rigs. One rig is really just a Ryzen 5 1600, really small, basic. CPU, not much humph, not much horsepower, but it's, you know, it's 3.6 kilohash more than I would have if it said zero. So not going to complain, putting every piece of hardware to work right now. Uh, we had some down, down profits uh, early January up till now. Now it's actually been, been going back up for CPU profitability, and this is using NiceHash random X Monero algorithm. Uh, as I have shown you guys, let's see here. I'm running uh, Windows 10 on each of my rigs. Uh, easy for me, you can do the nice hash OS and install that with a, a thumb drive, memory stick, whatever, uh, USB drive, anything. You can, you can flash it on there and run it that way if you want. I just do Windows, whatever. I know Windows, I can get by. You can do it on Linux, I think, too. But uh, it is what it is, and it works fine for me. Uh, lower The lower the maintenance, the better. And all I do is look at it like once a day to make sure the miners are kind of running. I don't need to go in and kick them. Sometimes you do have to go in here and uh, give them a little kick, a restart. And that's just, eh, whatever, no big deal. So we are running right now. This one was at a buck, now we're back down to 95 cents. So we are getting some fluctuations. Uh, running XM Rig 681. Let's go over and look at my devices. Which one is this? This is nine. This should be a 3900. And we have, uh, there's your MBTC per day, estimated current profit, profitability of your system per day, and that does fluctuate. So let's see, unpaid balance, all right, gotcha. So here it is, XM rig, running on the random X Monero, and that's about 11 point, I can't quite read that, nine right here, 11.9 kilohash, and that goes up sometimes to high 12s, and maybe down to 11, so it does fluctuate. I have the voltage at 1.1, and most of the, uh, I think all of the Ryzen 9 rigs have at least, at least two memory sticks, two channels full of memory. The little puppy Ryzen 5 only has one. I was actually going to run upstairs. I'm really lazy and look at my old G, one of my old GPU rigs sitting there co uh, collecting dust and maybe rip out some memory there and put into the little puppy, the little engine that could and get him a little more kilohash. Uh, again, is it going to make a big difference for me? No, it's all for fun. And it's kind of cool just to, play with the uh, systems and tweak them. Uh, there's probably other things I could do, but uh, right now I'm happy with the way things are and gonna keep rolling. Again, this is old hardware. I have not purchased any new hardware in the past two years. Cause yeah, I don't wanna waste money right now. I just wanna use what I have, repurpose it and keep going forward. Uh, let's see, the Borg rig is doing well. All you needed for the Borg rig, people have asked is uh, go to Home Depot. They have those black wire racks you put together. Uh, they're called baking racks, I think, back in the shelving area. And I have a, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to say it's about one, two, four foot, at least four foot tall. And it's got one, two, four shelves on it. And it's wire rack and it's got the, it's got the coating on it too. But um, what I also do is I hang the rigs, the motherboards through their um, mounting holes that you mount to the uh, hardware cases, those screw holes. I use those and I put zip ties through them. Uh, again, it's all MacGyver. It's all duct tape, duct tape and mirrors, right? Uh, use um, zip ties, hang them vertically. I got two sitting on top. Um, I could, I don't, well, the, the, the 13900, I could do vertical. I may do that one. The 3950, I will not. It's got one of those multiple dual fans, intake, outtake fans. I think that would put too much uh, vertical stress on the uh, CPU mount, whatever, where it attaches to the motherboard. It might put too much strain on it. Uh, I'll, I'll leave that one horizontal. But again, it's a cool little design. Keeps the dust off because most of the CPUs, you know, all what? There's seven. Uh, five of them are vertical. So it's just sucking in air uh, from the vertical position. Again, I still collect dust bunnies on the fins. I can see them right now on the uh, CPU cooling fins. Uh, no big deal. Just got to get some compressed air and maybe a wooden toothpick. Yeah, don't use any metal and scrape up anything or break your fins or break your uh, fan blades or anything. Just go careful with it. 
a little isopropyl alcohol and uh, you should be good to go. Ah, you guys know how to clean stuff. Just be gentle because if you break it, it's, 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 not, it's a pain in the butt to replace. All right, so there we are. Let's go back to the deck. Oh, let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, my God. Where are we? Where is it, guys? Stocks. What are we doing today? Bitcoin been sliding lately. Yeah, that's, again, that seems to be the norm. I should have known this when IPOs or anything new comes out. Everything's already, already has been run up beforehand, you know. Buy the rumor, sell when the news happens, and that's basically this case with this stupid ETF stuff. Everyone got all hyped up, hyped up, ran the price of a Bitcoin up. I don't know. I guess that's it. Nobody knows. If anybody knew, we'd all be freaking gabillionaires, right? Ran the price up to 40, I think it was 48, and then now back down uh, almost, are we a week? About a week now, right? Because uh, it came out last Wednesday night or Thursday. So yeah, over a week now, this old uh, ETFs have been active. And uh, we got a Fidelity Wise Origin Bitcoin ETF right here, 36. I think I bought it 41, 42. Yeah, probably 40, a little over 41, probably 40. I'm, I'm a genius, but yeah, big deal. I'm down like 20 bucks. Woo! Because <laughs> I knew I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go high speculation on these things because I don't want to. I just don't want to lose money. I'm sick of losing money. Again, you only do lose it if you do sell. So it's unrealized capital losses, unrealized capital gains as well. Yeah, so that's where we're at. We got Bitcoin at 41.635. Tesla's a turd. Oh, now it's back up. So it had down minus 20 after hours. And what the heck is going on with Tesla? Anyway, I'm down 25% on this thing. Yeah, I'm just going to hold it because I don't want to take a loss on it. Uh, unrealized loss. So just hold it for now. It's just sitting there doing nothing for me, not even paying me dividends. Hindsight should have just not bought it outright and just bought it like I do have through some index funds. So enough about that crap. Here's some of my stuff. If you want to screenshot this, these are some of my holdings, uh, starting from Starbucks Verizon. These are dividend paying stocks I get into because you, know, you can eventually live off dividends and not have to sell your uh, core stake in uh, your investments. If you think about it, look up dividend reinvesting. It's for the long term, guys, not overnight. It's going to be for at least a 10 year horizon and, and more. So, uh, yeah, this is some of the stuff I own. Let's see. I don't actually use some of this crap. I don't use Oracle. I don't use Starbucks. I don't like Starbucks personally as a drink. I just, they overload it with crap. I don't like it. It kind of makes you want to run to the bathroom sometimes, but I notice everyone else drinks it and they stand in line. I'm thinking, wait a minute. All right. I'm going to profit off these folds. And it's one of my best performers. Uh, here's some, um, index funds. I like, I like Vanguard. I like Fidelity. Some of these are Fidelities. You can check on them, check them out. Uh, sometimes index low, uh, zero cost index funds may be the way to go. Set and forget. Uh, go off the uh, S&P uh, index, uh, S&P index 500. Go off that. There's uh, ETFs and indexes out there you can buy. Uh, Fidelity has no cost ones. Low, zero cost, low fee, uh, no transaction fees, stuff like that. Look at them. I'll, if you want to pay for a managed portfolio, a managed fund, yeah, you can do that too. But uh, some of these index funds do really well. Uh, some of them do bad too in downtime. So you got to manage your risk. Uh, where are we at? VTI, there's a good one. Total Stock Index, Van, uh, Vanguard's. VU, VOO is another good one. Uh, there's all these things. Some of these are just footmarks at the bottom. Carrier of all things is doing really well. I mean, look, I think I got it right here after it was a sell off. Boom. And then it kind of corrected like everything else. And now look at this. All right, we're getting off topic, but who cares? Let's go back. Dashboard. Yeah, now we're back to $7 right here. Look at that. Seven schmackaroos profitability. So it actually doubled almost in the past two days. I noticed it was inching up. It would go to seven, eight bucks and then kind of drop back down to four. And now recently it's been holding above six. So if you got some rigs, you got some laptops, just turn them on. Keep them cool. Keep the fans on and then go forth. That's all I got. The old CPU mining update today. Yeah, looking good. It's kind of fun. And you can see over here, I'm at 0 0.008 right now on bitcoin sitting out there on nice hash and that now equates to eh, 340 but that is based on the current bitcoin price i try not to look at that that really doesn't matter to me as much as the 0 0.008 that's the number i like to see just it's like little little baby satoshis coming coming home my you know my little miners are calling them home the little cpu uh, rigs are going come to me little satoshis and they little satoshis come back to the house and then they uh, make a bigger house and they keep piling on. Got to love it. Yeah, on that weird note, I'm out. Go forward to create things. Let me know what you guys are up to. Are you mining? Are you GPU mining? Are you ASIC mining? Are you CPU mining? Are you buying equities? Are you buying index funds? I'm just curious. Uh, 
Are you uh, planning retirement correctly? Think about that. No matter what age, start thinking about that. Retirement doesn't really relate to an age. Think of it about you are financially independent to now go do what you want so you're not working as a uh, slave uh, in a COJ, crappy old job, or a job which is J-O-B, just over broke. Remember those two acronyms and it'll kind of motivate you to maybe go do your own thing, get a side hustle. And uh, I swear to God, if you are a techie guy or any job where you can do remote, remember most jobs are salaried. If you're doing that job, go get another remote job while you're working that job. There is nothing wrong with that. You are the CEO of your own career. You are a freelancer because these companies will lay you off like that without notice. You are not their family. You're not in a company culture where they look like they're each other. It's all ego. It's all people that don't know how to manage companies and they hire too many people. And then they fire you or lay you off after two months. It's so stupid. It's just ridiculous. So you got to look out for yourself, especially in these times. It's going to get worse in this country. Uh, yeah, election year, which is, you know, questionable right and uh you just got to go out get two jobs working remote you're getting salaried as long as you do your work get it done big deal so what you're working two jobs who cares you don't have to tell them and if you're not working for your competitor that's a, you know don't do that but work for two different firms doing two different things and if you're tech who cares you're making making bank so you're making 150 200,000 a year boom you're not in your 400,000 a year and maybe more because if you're working one you can drop the insurance on the one if you need health insurance just have coverage your medical stuff under one company, boom. And then uh, on both companies, if you have a 401k and crap, Roth, get a Roth 401k. Put as much in there as you can. You are double dipping because you only have so many days on this earth. You got to maximize your time usage. And this is one of the best ways to do it. Some of the older farts will say, oh, you can't do that. That's, that's criminal. No, it isn't. You're a freelancer, man. You are working for these companies that do not give a crap about you. You are a human resource to them. And when you become useless, you're gone. And they will give you no notice, whereas they want at least two weeks notice. Bull crap. Never give two weeks notice. Just go walk in and say, I'm done. Boom. Get your stuff cleared out a couple of days before. And just, you're done. You're, no need to sit around. You owe these people nothing. Uh, you're not burning any bridges. The people that are going to be there, if you ever want to go back, and why would you want to go back, are going to be gone or just, you know, whatever, on welfare. Because they're going to be canned for just being who they are. <laughs> I don't know. There's your little rant. So, Use your brain, use the power of remote, invest wisely, and uh, go forth, man. It's going to be a hell of a ride this year. Woo! All right, I'm out.